Feminist News Network, that Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Pagoda Room, giving you that soulful news you need every time. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and get that soulful news, that soulful way, well, sweetie, you let them know I'm serving it up fresh today. Uh-huh. So what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is going on? MasterCard. Mm -hmm. And what is MasterCard doing? Cracking down. And what are they cracking down on? The MasterCard debit sale of marijuana at dispensaries across the U.S. Now that we have more than 35 states and states turning over to medical marijuana almost every other month in year. You know, we just had some recent states turn to medical marijuana, like Michigan. So, they're saying in BBC News and in Forbes and all, and I got the uh, BBC, right, July, July of this year, it's, it says, MasterCard demands U.S. cannabis shops to stop accepting debit cards. And they have followed through with it. By so, why is MasterCard doing this? Why is it a big deal? Because MasterCard, who is a big, big donor to both the GOP and DNC, is for the federal law against marijuana and wants to abide by the federal law. Now, what does that mean? Direct Express. And what is Direct Express? If you're over 65 or you're a uh, person that is disabled collecting Social Security uh, disability, insurance, you have a direct express card, and they do not want anybody collecting federal money going to a dispensary. And this also affects who? MasterCard on digital, like PayPal, Venmo, Zelle. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because PayPal is MasterCard. Venmo is MasterCard. Aha! With their debit card and credit card services. See, now it's starting to make sense. Yeah, they don't want it to get around that you can get down with 420. That's why. So if you plan on getting some, you better play, pay cash, because MasterCard ain't having that. Now they wrong. They need to help lobby to stop and create the legalization of an herb that's no more than a plant, instead of having it criminalized to the point to where it has so many working class black and brown and people of color in jail over a nonviolent offense until our jails are swollen and literally a lot of GOP and them states are making their money off of having these uh, corporate jails and charging people with these nonviolent offenses. It's making budget money for them. And it seems like MasterCard wants it to keep that gravy train of misery going instead of helping. And if you agree with me that they're no good for what they do when it comes to debit boo, 
leave that comment below and let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and that Facebook page. And remember, I'm that soulful progress one on Twitter. Got that rant of the day on blogger. Thanks for joining the news crew. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers so we can go live and call in, friend. I know that's right. So if you care to donate, get me a cup of coffee. That's memo at Sky Soulful Progressive. Mahalo and thanks in advance. And remember, during this era of hate, we're going to have to participate. Why? So we can control our own financial destiny. I know that's right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. Oh. Mm -hmm.